Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. We've got a rather old story, but you know, better late than never, right now. Okay, all right, so, hi, how are you? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Contra Thoughts, being against thoughts. Not that I'm against thinking, that's not the point at all. It just sounds good, really. That's that's all I really care about. Saddle back at home. So Rick Warren, old Ricky, Richard, good name. I never went by Rick. Don't call me Rick, please. I might have to cancel you or call you a racist or something. Um, saddle back at home. This is from an article from Protestia. A few people have commented on it. Uh, Colin. I don't know his last name. He has a YouTube channel too. He commented on it as well uh, recently. So this is something that... So first of all, uh, Saddleback has been on on, uh, online. This is back in December of 2020. Now the church I pastor, we came back last May 2020. And then I was at a church. I wasn't the pastor at the time. I was just doing pulpit supply and we were members at another church. We went back that same day. Um, other churches have never stopped meeting. Other churches have never come back together. Other churches are just living in fear. Other churches aren't churches at all. Other churches are, you know, taking a little more caution just depending on kind of politics and and things. But what everyone can see is that church has to be with people. Being online, this isn't church, by the way. I'm not your pastor. Unless you're watching this. Hey, church congregation. Uh, I know some of y'all do watch it. Drop a comment. Say hi. Um, But if I'm not your pastor, like, I don't see your face in the, you know, pew uh, in the building or we see each other throughout the week or something like that, then I'm not your pastor. I'm just just not. That being said, a lot of people think Zoom church and other things is church. But it's not. We all know it's not. Let's let's be real here. It's not. Uh, This is a article the Protestia brought up, and this is the actual um, Saddleback at Home, Friday, December 11th. So this is like nine months ago, 10 months ago. Um, citing James 2, 6, if you say a person in pain, God be with you, but I hope you stay warm and get plenty to eat. Translation that is. But do not give that person what they need. Your words are worth nothing. Now that's true. That's true. You can't say be warm and filled, go in peace, and then hasta luego. See you later. You know, you got to do something. Generally, I mean, you don't always have to, quote unquote, got to do something, but you should do something, especially if there's a need there, like a real tangible need. So then they cite this loosely. They always say, dear Saddleback family, going through, we want to show more love, not just say we're doing it, but actually showing it. Okay, that's fine. How are they going to do that exactly? Well, let's find out. If you're an African-American, the third paragraph, or black, members of the Saddleback congregation, and spouses, no matter your ethnicity. Well, that's good. Uh, You are invited to a special Zoom gathering. Uh, Okay. Monday, December 14th at 6 p.m. with Anthony Miller and Dr. Anita Phillips, a racial trauma expert and host of the In the Light podcast. Our worship team has also arranged one of a kind of gospel experience. We want this to be a safe space for our black brothers and sisters. I thought they were African American. Which is it? Which is it everybody? Really, which is it? I mean, what does Morgan Freeman say? He's like, I'm not from Africa. Don't call me African. I mean, I'm not English American or European American. I mean, I guess whatever. Our worship team has arranged one of a kind of black brothers and sisters heal, fed mentally, emotionally, spiritually their church blah 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 blah. Everyone, for everyone else in our church family, I invite you to pray that God will use this night to begin a healing process that leads to true fellowship. Okay. Like, (laughs) segregation was a bad thing. Colored over here, colored drinking fountain and whites, right? Sit in the back of the bus, Rosa Parks. You don't sit up here. Segregate it. Go back there. What did she do? Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. No, she sat in the front of the flipping bus. And I would be happy to say, Rosa Parks, amen and amen. Thank you for sitting in the front of the bus. Not having your own worship service. I, I, wh- wh- how, is this, how is this helpful? How is this helpful, Rick Warren and all your affiliates? There's thousands of people. It's a micro-denomination, really. 
Uh, but, you know, anyway. How is this helpful? When you have passages like Galatians 3.28... There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male or female, but all are one in Christ. Or we have the, the issue with the deacons, and I think it's Acts 7. And the Hellenistic Jews are not being, the widows are not being fed in the daily allotment of food giving and so on. They're being neglected. So they say, well, we need to have deacons. We need to have servants here. And they elect seven men. Is it Acts? Let me just look. Acts 6.1. Right? Uh, why does this app not work sometimes? In those days, the disciples were increasing in number. The Grecian, Hellenistic? Oh, Grecian, Greek speaking. That's a different translation. Okay. Uh, in those days, the number of the disciples was multiplying, and those arose a complaint against the Hebrews by the Hellenists. Ah, blacks and whites right here. Because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. Okay, so what does the Bible say? Well, they should, they should go over there and have their own little food. No, they're together. But they're being neglected. They're being segregated. They're having their own worship service. That's not, why is this good? Like, how wicked is it to take something that's bad? Oh, wait, the Bible already says that. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Segregate, everybody segregate, right? You, 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 you need a safe space. A safe space? Do you think mentally darker skinned people with more melanin in them, in their skin, on their skin, are weak? You think they don't know? You think they're just gonna be like, oh, I'm so scared of the guy with the tan skin. He's got less melanin than me. He's a freak. He's like a ghost. <laughs> like, what? And notice it doesn't talk about at all Hispanic or Japanese or Canadian. I mean, Canadian, I mean, they're in massive oppressive North Korea style lockdowns off and on over 20 and 20, 2020 and 2021. They're oppressed. I mean, they even say weird words weird, right? Like what a boot it. And, you know, all they have is maple syrup and hockey. And I mean, one of those things is great. Sorry, hockey. But <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. Soccer is the bad one. But really, hockey is just soccer on ice with sticks. But I digress. How is this helpful? How is this helpful? I mean, what, what? Acts, Acts 10, 34. Peter opened his mouth. I most certainly understand now that God is, shows no partiality. But every nation of man that fears him and does what is right is welcome to him. The word which he sent to the sons of Israel, preaching peace through Jesus Christ. You yourselves know that the thing which took place throughout all Judea, starting from Galilee, after the baptism which John proclaimed, you know of Jesus of Nazareth, of how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, and how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. And we are his witnesses of all these things goes on. Segregation's not good. Safe spaces. What about everybody else who's not, quote unquote, white? This shirt's white, by the way. You see? I mean, it, it blends right in, right? You can't even, it's like I'm wearing just like a glove. Like it's just, it's so, so, so much the same. When are we going to stop this? When are we going to stop this? If the church isn't going to do this, but rather gobbles up all this nonsense, which by the way, uh, the article goes on and talks about the um, Anita Phillips a little bit more and how she just spews off, you know, racial rhetoric and CRT nonsense and woke ideology. Uh, Rick, <clears throat> brother Rick, what you doing, man? Why? Why are you doing this? Huh? Why are you doing this? Why? What's the problem? What, 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 how do you think segregation is a good thing? Safe spaces? Who told you that, you know, people with more melanin needed safe spaces because they're what? Their minds are weak. Their souls aren't strong. They've been oppressed by the devil, a.k.a. whitey. Now there's been segregation. I understand that. There's been real racism and real oppression and real prejudice, really. And it still happens. Why? Because we live in a fallen world. We're, we need to acknowledge that thing. And now we worked for those things and through those things. And now we're far better off than we were 50, 60 years ago. Come on, people. And now we're like reverting back and be like, yeah, we need to have segregated places. But I mean, yeah, if your wife, if your wife is kind of, she looks like she's from England or something like that, that's, I guess that's fine. You know, we don't want to like segregate too much. 
That'd be kind of weird because then it'd be splitting up couples. Well, that's what's next. I mean, could you imagine five years ago, even three years ago of, of having something like this? No one would be like, and no one would say, yeah, that's, that's a great idea. Absolutely. We need to make distinctions in the church based on skin tone and where people are from and have a separate worship service that's safe. This is insanity. This is stupid. This is so wrong. It's divisive. It, it, it's just wrong in every way. I mean, is it racist? Like hardcore racist? I mean, if you're going with segregation from the South 60 years ago, yeah, it is racist. Absolutely. Like actual racism, not like, you know, you disagree with somebody with more melanin, therefore you're racist. Um, that's not racist. I didn't vote for Obama because he was a Marxist, not because he had a dad from Africa. That didn't, no, that didn't stop me. It's because he was a Marxist. But I'll put the Protestia article in there. Um, there's more. You can go read it if you want to. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like this content, if it's really helpful to you. Uh, I've got some videos up here. Uh, Contra Talk, where I talk to various Christians, authors, theologians, and the like about various subjects, a little bit more serious, a little bit more long form. I'm also doing a Bible study through First John called Baggage Free Bible Study, and uh, basically just taking the Bible and just working through it and seeing what it says. No commentaries, no dictionaries, nothing, uh, but strictly what does the text say. Um, I've done a few weeks of that, so we'll see how that goes, and uh, until next time, be against the world for the sake of the world, all right? Take care.